Hey, my son's got a nice bluegill. Oh, dropped him off. Um, Troy Smutka here with Parker Smutka, Nate Smutka. Welcome to this uh, episode of Fishing and Hunting the North Country. Uh, we actually were filming a bass show this morning and caught a ton, but we found a bunch of sunfish still on the beds. A little late, we had a weird weather up here this spring. We had a cold, uh, really cold spring, early ice out, then cold spring, then all of a sudden uh, two weeks of 90 degrees heat wave, and uh, it kind of messed up a little bit. Some lakes, the sunfish bedded early, some they bedded deeper than normal. Uh, here it looks like they're bedding a little later than normal. So my son Parker started off what we hope is going to be a nice uh, mid to late morning of sun fishing for uh, we've seen bluegills as we were finding these beds, pumpkin seeds and hybrids on this lake. Started off with a nice bluegill there and we'll see where we go from here. All right, my son and my dad got doubles. My son looks like he's got a nice pumpkin seed there. And dad, what do you got? Dad's got a nice bluegill there. So we're definitely on a bed in here. I'm gonna get a photo of the two of them with the two different species there together. That'll make a nice picture. And we'll get back at it here. I haven't even had a chance to get a line out yet. <laughs> They're so fast. Hey, that's okay. That's fun. And my son Parker's got another one here. Oh, looks like we got another double. Oh, Parker's got a nice bluegill there. We'll be getting a photo of that. That's a almost a nine incher there. And my dad Nate has got another lot of twin there. Get together, hold those together in the middle there, guys. Oh, that's a nice, nice twins there. Yeah, they're definitely bedding. He's uh, he's milking. Yeah. Hold, just hold them up on the jig. We'll get a video of those two together. Almost twins, but yeah, what a nice pair of bluegills there, fellas. All right, we'll get a picture of that. And we're gonna keep a, about 10 fish for a meal today. Don't need the freezer fill, we're just gonna keep a fresh meal. Hey, I got in the act, got a line out here, got a nice bluegill. Seven. Seven, so we're getting close to our fresh meal. All right, back at it. Hey, my son's got another one here. What do we got? Pumpkin seed. Yeah, this lake has got bluegills, pumpkin seeds, and hybrids. So, I'll just show you on the. There he is. Nice fish. I'll let him go. On the locator here and on the GPS, you can see our path from this morning for bass fishing, and then you can see we put some marks on the GPS when we spotted the sunfish beds. We had some sunfish hit our bass baits, even we caught some nice ones on our bass baits, so we marked these spots that we'll come back to later, and that's what we're doing now. Well, here, I got a nice bluegill coming in here, and looks like my son has got, oh, he's got a little bass that came in. Look at this bluegill. Here's a nice, colorful male there. Size my hand. Hey, my son Parker's got another one on here. Ooh, nice gill. Nice male gill there. Yeah. Oh, my dad just missed one. We got them all around us. 
Okay, I got a fighter here. See what have we got here? We got a nice bluegill. Oh yeah, beauty. Nice big bull there, bedding. Son's got one here. What do we got? There is a hybrid. We'll get a close up of him. That's a cross between a bluegill and a pumpkin seed. You can see the orange edged gill plate there and the little teal blue squiggles of the pumpkin seed and the pumpkin seed fins. And then you can see the stripes from the bluegill turned towards the south a little more. Got all we need to eat, so we're gonna let that boy go. Another one here feels like a good one, looks like a good one. Nice, nice bluegill there. Bedding bluegills. I'll have to hold them out for the camera there. Nice fish. Now will take a little time to talk about the equipment when I let this one go. Um, when you're talking about sunfish on the beds. Um, these are not fish roaming around feeding. These are fish sitting guarding the beds that they made, either gu uh, guarding them and trying to attract females to them to lay their eggs, or if eggs have already been laid by females, then they're guarding the nest. Uh, and they guard the eggs until the uh, fry hatch. So you have to be right on them. And a lot of times a vertical presentation is the best way for that. So we're using a slip bobber system here. Um, I've got a seven foot, this happens to be a St. Croix panfish series but it's an ultralight uh, i like the long we're fishing there actually this is an eight foot i switch rods this is an eight foot we have seven foot and eight foot here in the boat uh the long rod for makes nice long casts with light gear and you can take up a lot of line on the hook set um you got a little breeze starting to come up so you get some slack line so that long rod will take up that slack line and get uh, the hook set in better and then i've got that uh with a fluger spinning reel and I've got that spooled with uh, Berkeley uh, Fireline Ultra 8, uh, four pound test. Got the slip bobber, slip bobber knot on there. Got a barrel swivel tied at the end of the Fireline. And then just for stealth and abrasion resistance, a uh, about a foot and a half, two foot fluorocarbon leader. And then hanging from that, just a little 16th ounce. This is a VMC Moon Eye jig and a little one to two inch soft plastic. Uh, it could be a... Uh, this is a tube, could be a tube, could be a minnow, could be a grub, could be lots of things. It uh, doesn't really matter. And then we just toss it out, get it over areas. We can kind of see the beds up here. If you don't get bit in a few seconds, you're not on the beds, move it or cast it back out. And when you get on them, you'll know it right away. That's pretty simple equipment, but that's all you need for these bluegills on the beds. like a nice hybrid. Yeah, that's a nice one. All right, we'll take a look at him. You can get him aboard. It might show up in the camera. It might show up in the camera. Do you look down there? You guys see that? That loon was following him around. I saw something moving around down there following him. It was that loon following him around, thinking he was going to have a shot at him. Yeah. He's back. Sorry, buddy. We're going to let him go, though, so you maybe get him on your own, but not going to be able to get him while we're fighting him. 
Oh, that was exciting. But it got real exciting if he grabbed it. <laughs> hey there. Still there kind of hopping around. We got several areas of beds up here. When one gets kind of slow, then we just move to another one. Let's move to another one. Got another nice old bluegill there. Go catching them on the jig and soft plastic underneath the slip slope. Having quite a day here. Freeze picking up a little bit, but doesn't seem to be bothering them. Damn it, yeah, Nate's got one. Looks like a nice bluegill there. Oh yeah, there's beauty. We can get a picture of that one. Hold it up here for the camera. Turn it face the camera. Hold on a nice high. Alright, we'll get a photo of that one. That's a nice big bull there. Alright, my son Parker got another one here and he said it was fighting different. He thought it was going to be a bass, but it's actually a pretty nice perch for lakes around the Twin Cities here. It's not a Devil's Lake jumbo, but that one's going to go in the line well. That'll be a good eater. It'll finish off. We got uh, 10 sunfish in there. We're going to put that one perch in there. Nice fish, buddy. We'll get a picture of that. Well, it was a nine and a half inch perch, not a big fat wintertime jumbo, but he's going to go in that live well, and you can see we got a nice little batch. Uh, Sonny's in there with him. We'll have ourselves a nice meal. Good job, buddy. Well, we're going to call it a day here. Uh, getting a little busy out there. Metro area lakes. Uh, and how, how it goes. Uh, a lot of a lot of wave action out there now from all the wake boats and water skiing boats. But uh, I can sure tell you that uh, three generations of Smutkas, uh, my son Parker, my dad Nate and I had a blast bringing this to you. Um, don't get to fish pan fish often enough uh, with all the other stuff that we do, but anytime we get an excuse to get sunnies on the beds, uh, we'll take advantage of it. So I hope you learned some uh, ideas about locations where to find them and pretty simple equipment and techniques and you can just have a blast great way to get a kid out fishing uh bluegills on the beds in june uh just fast action we kept a meal you keep a meal and the fresh sunnies are pretty tough to beat in the pan uh, but uh, please don't fill the freezer and keep limit after limit um, not going to eat them uh, within a day or two toss them back and we'll go out and catch them again later um, for parker smutka and nate smutka i'm troy smutka Thanks for watching this episode of Fishing and Hunting in the North Country. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Until then, good luck, and I will see you out there somewhere.